What's going on YouTube? Welcome to the future of vaping. Mark and Mike here from Vape Cult, and uh, we want to show you what the future of vaping will be if you don't take action against FDA regulations that are backed by big tobacco companies. So, um, you'll notice on YouTube this week, uh, almost all the reviewers uh, are doing the future of vaping, which is vaping cigarette products from big tobacco companies. So we thought that we would uh, get on board with it, even though we only have, uh, what, three videos, right? Um, maybe four. Possibly, possibly four and a half videos. Uh, but hey, why not? The more awareness that we raise, um, the better off we're all going to be. So, as Mike showed you, he has a Views, Views Solo. Is that what you got there? It's the Views Solo. Views Solo. And I have... It's a digital vapor a cigarette. Blue. Disposable. I got high hopes for this, baby. There actually was a time when... Um, when that before that came out, when I was still on Sigalites, that I was excited that that was going to come out. <laughs> I was really stoked. Like I emailed them. I'm like, can I get a sample? Can I get? Can I buy one? Yeah. I Luckily, was, it didn't last very long. I was not stoked buying these this morning. I feel like a traitor to the cause. <clears throat> I just supported two different big tobacco companies. How many people you killed by buying that? Right. That's for real. All right. So. Um, why don't we go ahead and just open these mm -hmm. and do our review on them? We're not going to do an up close on them because I think that is um, unnecessary. But you can watch us take them out of the package yeah. and try them, and we'll give you our opinions on them. <clears throat> um, so, again, with FDA regulations, what they basically want to do is uh, negate any of the open systems that we currently have in vaping, like whether it's a, a mech mod. Uh, a regulated box mod, RDAs, uh, juice, delicious juice, by the way, Epic Clouds, uh, pineapple cake. By open system, what they mean is that you can open your tank, pour juice into and it. And do your own shit. It. Yes. This is in a pretty, uh, pretty slick package. It's a little uh, foil there. And it looks like once I take this baby out, it's ready to go. There's instructions. It says for a puff, perfect puff, first time, every time, take longer, slow puffs. This thing is rechargeable with this little USB oh, you got a little, adapter. A little USB adapter. Yeah. Nice. And then there's a little. Now, what big tobacco company makes yours? Uh, I'm not sure. I think it's whatever company manufactures Camel. And I believe yours is Lorillard. Yep, mine is Lorillard. This one doesn't outright say it that I see off the bat. I'm not going to read the instructions because I think um, all you do is puff it. No, it doesn't say which company, but it comes from Winston-Salem, North Carolina, the heart of Tobacco. Oh, R.J. Reynolds. Uh, no. Is that right? Is that a tobacco company? I don't yeah. know. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Pretty sure. Yeah. The heart of tobacco country. What uh what's the nicotine level on that? That's what I was looking for and I don't see it. It doesn't say anywhere. It doesn't say on the outside of the package. No, nope, it doesn't say. Nothing. All We're right. Just wasting time here. So why don't you go ahead and open yours too? All right. So the blue cig, uh, blue electronic cigarette cherry crush. You pop it open. You get one of these little fancy jobbers right there. Got a little barcode so you can't steal it. That's nice. Or a little uh, tag on the back of it. Uh, this is uh, ch -ch disposable. This is a disposable one. Uh, clearly. Uh, remove rubber cap. Smoke as you would any cigarette. The LED in the tip will light up blue as you puff. Uh, made in China. Flavors made in the U.S. with imported ingredients. I believe the juice for this, if I'm not mistaken, is Johnson Creek. It is Johnson Creek. Yeah. Um, I'm going to try mine. 
Yeah, I'm gonna pop this open. Now this says to me that I got 17 to 24 milli, approx, approximately 17 to 24 milligrams of nicotine. So I don't know why it's not uh, a little bit more. Uh, Watch my clouds, bro. Let's see. You're gonna, you're gonna shit your pants from the nicotine. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I'm gonna have a headache in like five seconds. <laughs> All right, so here goes the blue uh, cherry. All right, you puff yours while I tell everybody, this is gross. Hmm. I don't get anything at all. I, this doesn't. I get a, a little bit of cherry, but yeah, that's the cherry brand. Mm -hmm. This doesn't say what flavor. It doesn't say anything huh. about flavor at all on the packaging or nicotine. So I think I might just be vaping pure VG. I don't know. Yeah, could be. But this is it. This is the future of vaping. If you don't take action on sites like Casa.org, Vaping Militia. Um, <clears throat> this is gross. This is straight up gross. It tastes like I'm vaping plastic. Yeah, it does have a plasticky taste to it. I don't know if it's the end. Or... I don't taste anything other than plastic. That's the only thing, the only flavor I get. Plastic. Uh -huh. Am what? I doing this wrong? Well, it's kind of, oh, it comes apart. Yeah, this one's rechargeable. What's kind of weird about this is that it, I haven't used a Sigalite in a while, but it almost makes me want to smoke a butt. Why? Mm -hmm. Stupid. It feels, because it feels almost like smoking. Like it's, it yeah, feels more like. I understand people quitting smoking want to get something that's similar to a cigarette. Yeah. So that makes sense. But this just but isn't good. Like It's not long after you start vaping that you don't want a cigarette anymore. Yeah. And I would prefer not to have something in my hand that's anything like a cigarette. I prefer something that looks. Yeah. I would definitely like prefer a to not garage have garage door a, opener. That's yeah. Because it's not smoking. And now, granted, when I first started vaping, this is what I started on, was um, a blue disposable. And then I tried, I don't know how many other different disposables. There's so many of them out there. The one that I settled on that I enjoyed the most was... Uh, I'm going to make you try that. <clears throat> well, I, I got some, some sickness happening here, so you might want to not catch don't my try it. disease. But um, the one that I settled on that I actually liked the most was the Enjoy King, which kind of has that end like a cigarette. It actually feels more like a cigarette. But... Um, yeah, I couldn't quit smoking by using these at all. Like, I still smoked. There was a, I get almost no throat hit out of that. I do, however, have a head buzz. So it is delivering nicotine, yeah. probably a lot. I'm gonna guess it's probably 24, 25 milligrams. I don't there. really taste cherry in this at all anymore. I had a little bit of cherry, now it's just kind of gone. That looks like a pen without the ball. It does. On it. Yeah. Do I look like Stephen Dwarf when I do this, or Stephen Dwarf, whatever the name is? Dwarf. Mm -hmm. like Dorf on golf. I don't know. I don't. No, really I know. Because life's all about freedom and choices. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm smoking a blue e cig. Okay. Let's In the wrap this of a up. Bar, I don't ever want to puff this again. Mm -hmm. This is straight up trash. And if you don't do things like. Uh, Writing letters, vaping militia, to Congress. If you don't do things like making phone calls, if you do nothing, this is what you're going to be left with. You're going to be left with no more vlogs like this, or Grim Green, or Suck My Mod, or Vaping with Twisted 420. Those will go away because what are they going to do with one of these? You will have no more juice. Juice will be gone. Flavors will be gone. You'll get to vape this amazing plastic digital hit every time this is great. garbage you won't have your vape shops anymore you won't no. have your online stores you won't have conventions anymore you won't have vape meets anymore you won't have cloud competitions anymore so if you sit back and do nothing this is what you get and this, this is, is it. disgusting this, this sucks. is trash they're horrible they're garbage and they're made by big tobacco because they know that they're losing their grip on the market so they're trying to do anything to get smokers back. And the fact that vaping is unregulated and it is uh, a whole industry that they don't have their foot in, they are lobbying the government and the FDA 
to put restrictions on it so that they can tell you what you're going to vape and how you're going to vape. So, which sucks. So yeah, I think that's going to do it for our uh, future of vaping video. Um, I'll put links below for the vapingmilitia.org, kasa.org, calls to action, uh, safada, or whatever, however you say that, which is geared more towards business, and notblowingsmoke.org. Thank you to Grim Green, Suck My Mod, Vaping with Twisted 420, and everybody else that did videos like this to help get the word out that cigalites are trash, closed systems are worthless, and I think if that's what happens and vaping gets open systems get banned, a good portion of the people are going to go back to smoking, and a good portion of the people are just going to be straight up pissed off. And like I said, if this is if the signal light is the way that you start vaping and then you eventually graduate, that's cool. But that I think is the key is that it's an entry point, but it's never going to at least for me it was never satisfying enough to actually help me quit smoking. So yeah, I just went to the gas station, the gas station, and bought these. I have no other reason to go inside a gas station for anything except the occasional maybe. Yeah six pack of beer or something like that but I went in and talked to a girl who didn't even know what this was the the extent of her knowledge was turning around and finding it on the shelf she didn't know what flavor it was she didn't know what nicotine level it was yeah. she didn't know what the little views box underneath this was which I think was a box of cartridges it was somebody who didn't know anything other than how to push the buttons on the cash register and I, she wasn't a bad person but she didn't know what she was I'm selling. sure that you're a, a, a wonderful human being but yeah I don't have a problem with her, it's not her fault, but I wanted to try to find a lower nicotine level because I don't need 25 milligrams of anything, right. and it just wasn't even an option. So get off your asses and do something, or you have no right to complain. Like we said, vaping militia, CASA, get the call to actions, um, join their Facebook groups, Follow them on all the different social media networks and do your part or we're all going to be Steve Dorfin it with the blue sig and this shit's going to suck. It's going to really suck. Not putting a Google, uh, not putting a, a link to Steven Dorf. I mean, he's an actor. It's probably not like he like he likes the shit. He's just getting paid to do the commercials. I'm sure he again, Steven, I'm sure you're probably a really cool dude, but I haven't seen a commercial in three years. I have no idea what you're talking about. The blue Sig commercials. I think Jenny McCarthy does one too. Oh yeah. Yeah. Good for her. Where it's all about freedom and choices and you can smoke where you want to smoke. It's not smoking. Exactly. Exactly. So, all right. So that's it. Let's put a bow on another one. There it is. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you soon.